Okay. So this gentleman down here was present on the night that uh, someone led the cops to my spot. Good morning. All thanks to God, one day at a time, doing a little filming. You have a blessed day, sir. Okay, as you can see here, there are a number of trees on both sides of the trail that block all view to the apartments mentioned during the assault and submission of a citation. This is Broadway Avenue, as you can see above there. And as you can see, there is a drainage arranged here with water running in it with sparse green plants, no dry foliage. And through most of it, you see there's nothing but heavy rock, nothing flammable. It's really kind of difficult to go down through that direction so we're going to go this way. The rocks are hazardous to walk across. So I have to be careful. No trail has been built here. Oh. That's the stash spot of the guy that lives upstairs. He brings his stuff down during the day and drops it there. This is a trail made by people coming to visit these areas. College kids occasionally do during the daytime. As you can see, this is bare gravel. Mostly one to three inch minus and sand. Sparse flammable materials at all. Nothing up against there except for twigs, and not very many of those. Because of the low light conditions under here, plants will not grow. And because of this gravel bar, which is mostly um, one to four inch minus, there's no buildup of deterris. No branches, sticks, what have you. This is the fire pit for my recreational fire, for my comfort and enjoyment. Those pine needles that you see are what's left of the material I used to start the fire. And according to the statute, 
this is not an unsafe place to have a campfire, a recreational fire, for the purpose of comfort and enjoyment. And considering that in the weeks prior, there was a week and a half of rain that had only recently stopped and the ground is still damp, even though we haven't had rain for three or four days. The ground around here is sopping wet. It goes all the way off into there. The only wood in here is piled back in there. So I did not have an open fire according to the definition of the ordinance. That ticket should not be considered valid as I was no threat to the community and the apartments that he said complained can't see my fire as I was sheltered under the bridge from the high humidity of the cold night fog and my chest flew up against a wall of concrete that will not burn and an easily oh at least 12 or 13 maybe 15 foot high steel and concrete that would not have been affected by my modest little campfire.